Well, no one understands the pothole problem in Metro Detroit more than drivers in Sterling Heights. Back in March, Local 4 viewers voted Mound Road as one of the worst pothole roads uh, in our area. To help with the growing problem, the city is now experimenting with a new material for pavement repairs. Jermont Terry is live in Sterling Heights with how this works. Jermont. Kimberly Mound Road here in Sterling Heights is one of those roads that drivers say is beyond patchwork and needs a full overhaul. But get this, imagine if you could actually prevent the roads from getting all filled with potholes and workers coming out day after day, week after week. Well, there's a new street mix guaranteeing to last much longer and is supposed to be safer for drivers too. The orange cones in road crews doing repairs are all too common. I mean, you drive all the way down Saul, the Clinton River, you got little potholes here and there. Since moving in eight years ago on Saul Road between Cornell and Alpena Drives in Sterling Heights, Russ Pointer has watched this road crumble. We need to start fixing them better, I think, in my opinion. Sterling Heights hopes what this crew is mixing up will do just that. This is a test section for us, yes. Eliminate the need for repairs for many years. So what we're looking for is to get a little bit of time out of the road. And we think this is a repair that is cost effective that will get us bias those years. It's neither concrete or asphalt. This happens to be 100% solid epoxy. Essentially, the mix claims to be five times the strength of concrete, water, oil, and salt resistant. Oh, nice. And the biggest payoff, it claims to last not one year, but get this, five years before any more repairs are needed. We want to be able to patch with something that holds up so that we're not patching over and over and over. The city spending nearly 50000 to test just a third of a mile with this product, a product you don't have to wait until spring to apply. This product can go down to 15 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas typically you can't go down that cold with cold patch. But we'll see. All I can say is we'll see. Russ is most definitely going to be looking out his window, making sure that crew is not back out there next year. Now, the city, they said that they're essentially going to check this one area. That's the test area on Saul Road. And then if it works, they may expand it through other parts of the city, and we could be eliminating those constant repairs over time. Reporting live in Sterling Heights tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4. That'd be wonderful if it worked. Godspeed, right? <laughs>